Welcome to First Word, striving to make God's Word your first priority today. Romans 3, 21 and 22, But now the righteousness of God, apart from the law, is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ, to all and on all who believe. Paul has just finished a long section explaining the dire state of the human race. It started with the fact that the wrath of God was revealed against mankind because he suppresses the truth in unrighteousness. By not displaying the image of God as he should. Paul brings that section to a conclusion, revealing that there are none righteous, no, not one. No man can seek after God on his own, nor can they understand him. Then, these amazing, exciting words, but now. Hope for the hopeless situation. God had every right to leave us to experience the treasured up wrath of God, but he didn't. He chose to not only reveal his wrath, but now his righteousness as well. This righteousness is apart from the law, because the law cannot make righteous. It only reveals our unrighteousness, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. The righteousness was prophesied in the Old Testament. This righteousness is revealed through faith in Jesus Christ to everyone and on everyone who believes. This righteousness is revealed to all who believe. Faith is a way that God's righteousness is appropriated to man. This is clarified in Romans 4, 5. But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. It is this faith that brings justification and peace with God. What an exciting revelation. An individual who is under God's wrath through faith is removed from that position to being justified, declared righteous, before the same God. These terms but now indeed bring hope for the hopeless, life for the lifeless, righteousness for the unrighteous. Thank you for joining us. First Word.